What's up, everybody? This is Jose from Sun Life. Hey, Katie. Welcome to our channel. On today's video, we are exploring Interlashen, Florida. This is the Lehigh Acres of North Florida. It's a rural subdivision that's being plotted out. Massive spread out area. We've been here in the past, but we didn't upload videos. And it's an affordable area compared to other parts of the state. Very rural, laid back, slow speed of life. Uh, last time we were here, a lot of people had moved here from Puerto Rico after Hurricane Maria. If anybody uh, is in that crowd and you're watching this video, let me know how you like the area and how the locals have treated you and how you feel living here. Same thing if anybody who's moved here from another state, um, how you felt. Now this is a little bit um, more civilized than other surrounding areas here in North Florida, but it's still kind of way off into the woods type of place. So if you've moved to this area from somewhere else in Florida or in the Caribbean or another state, I want to hear your opinion. There's a sign that says, welcome to Interlashen. So we're going to start off going into like the rural subdivisions first, and then we'll head into the town. <coughs> uh, this is kind of like the, like, the, like the estates used to be in Naples or what Lehigh used to be in, in Fort Myers. It's a place that's just kind of, you know, really way out there. But a lot of influx of people, the real estate was really affordable for a long time. Head east on Sleepy Hollow Drive towards Cecil Street. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Cecil Street. Mm -hmm. I don't need you, Siri. I don't like you. I don't need you. I don't want you. I have found another woman named Catherine who will tend to my travel needs from now on. <coughs> Don't get me. I'm going to have to go back to Sarah if you keep coughing like that. You keep coughing like that. I'm going to have to go back to Siri. Hey, Siri. I'm sorry, baby. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why I left you for Katie. Uh, she's choking out right now. So, Welcome to Lehigh, Latchin, Florida. <laughs> And this is like way the crap in the woods. It's very affordable. And I want to start the tour here so you can get the idea if you're moving out here, probably looking at the remote home park out in the woods with several do not transpass signs. So they might have had some issues in the past. That property there has got a six foot fence all around it. That's always good. There's litter everywhere. It's not litter, no, it's not litter. That's like. This is the mole rats that dig those homes. There's a mobile home way out, fenced in, by a boat up front, not bad. Got a trail through here. It's probably not even a road. It's probably just a trail through an empty lot that some people are using. I bet it's more like an ATV trail. We gotta be careful not to get stuck here in the sugar sand. This is pretty cool out here. Would you buy a lot here as an investment, Katie? Possibly. Okay, we're on dirt trails out here. So it's not even paved out here. Oh, sugar sand. Wow, 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 wow. wow. <coughs> hey, women. Okay, you need to stop that right now. Bro, what the crap? You're like coughing up crap, man. Yeah. You can't do that. We don't want, we don't want to get sick, all right? You're going to have to stop that. Yeah. I'm driving on sugar sand. I need to focus on the road, not your coughing noises. Y'all don't mind her. She's she's calm. This is nice. When you buy, what's the cost to buy a lot on here? I wonder if there's anything on sale for sale right now. Let's look. Look on that realtor thing. Oh, I like this. There's even lakes and stuff like here. We gotta look at some real estate investment out here, man. See if there's anything for sale out here. What they're going for? I'm not buying at all. What's that? Dude, this is cool out here. Absolutely no Dirt roads. I see a truck up ahead. Maybe there might be a house or something. I'm driving. You can't just, you got to tell me, boy. 4500 for a uh, quarter 
right here in this neighborhood? Show me the, show me the map. Don't show me the... Okay, so you're... You're not showing me the map, dude. Show me the map. Put it on map while I'm driving. I can't do that. This one's paved right here. And they got a new nice mobile home. That's pretty. Nice new mobile home. Paved road. Okay, let's see here. 12,000, 6,000, 7,000. So back in that corner back there, they're 4,000. Do they have water in the back? Oh, but it, it, it has water in the back, but it doesn't go to the water. The proper land doesn't go to the water. 7,000. There's a lot over here for 5,000, 6,000. So the ones in the back, you can almost get a lot in Lehigh for the same price. So the cheapest little properties out here in this little back corner are going to be running about five to six thousand dollars. Man, they got a lot of junk. Man, they got a lot of junk. Jump money. Jump money. Man, they got a lot of junk. Screw up, man. Oh, is that a pigeon coop? Or just a shed that looks like a pigeon coop. Bro, there are so many bugs out here. Our windshield is suffering from windshield filth syndrome. Nice house. There are better parts of international, by the way. So if you're watching this, don't be terrified. Yeah. Don't be terrified. There's better parts than this. We're just here because I'm looking at the cheaper real estate. I knew back here would be cheaper. So in these cheaper parts, you can get a lot for like 4000 And then when somebody dumps garbage on it, you can call a junk removal company to come haul it away for you. Okay, so let's go to downtown international. There's not much to it. I mean, it's like a little town. There's a McDonald's, it's rated 3.3, can't beat that. Oh, there's no, you can't go north, you gotta go south. Okay, yeah, flip back around. The house looks beautiful. So there's no way of going north through here? Is that a road or a trail? Hmm. There might be a way of getting back over there. It's like a trail, we'll see if we can get through it. This is what Spring Hill used to be like, like many years ago. Yeah. Who would have thought Spring Hill would be what it is today? Yeah. Couldn't you see this doing the same thing? Yeah. Like Spring Hill was nothing. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere, look what Spring Hill became, you know, over the years. Mm -hmm. Is that for sale? Is it a lot? It's a house. It's a house for a lot. It's a lot. A lot, a lot for sale. Keep her, text her. See her number? Take a picture of that. I want her, I want her number. I want to talk to her. I want to talk to her. If you see any lots for sale that are like 3000 4000 like it's real, it's just real cheap sales for me. I want to buy some lots. Okay. I want to eventually. Um, can you do it right this moment? Okay, so this looks like we might be able to get through here and cross the other side, but it's not even on the map. It's, it's like, let's hope we don't get stuck. If we don't get stuck, We'll be able to get to the other subdivision. Wow, dude, this is scary. Because the thing is, like, she might, I'll tell her to say, hey, if somebody has a lot for less than $3,000 on here, there's a lot of garbage. This is like, what the crap? They have a horse, a, a cow sign in front of the house? What the crap? Dude, this is so backwards. That, that's a great cover photo right there. That's like cover photo material right there. But that is like third world crap. What the crap? Is that a new mobile home? Mm -hmm. See, they put one in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. They put it, we made it to the other side. That's pretty cool. Okay, this out here looks like really, really primitive. That's the proper terminology. Primitive. New mobile home. That's be a great cover photo, too. A single wide mobile home in the woods like that. That'd be a good cover photo. Mm -hmm. Just a great, it promotes the idea of affordable housing. Eventually, what I want to do is when we're ready to retire, mm -hmm. to have several lots here and there, 
So we can pick which one we pick want. Pick which one, like, you know, we might, we might like this area, and then you got, you're already on the land. Yeah. You can put a single one mobile home in for 50, 60,000, whatever, you know, affordably. Before we put a mobile home in, this is like way back in the sticks out here. Mm -hmm. I like this little area though. It like, seems like if you, if you buy a lot, or you don't have, I think you move in the woods. If you buy something, right? Bear or dog or something. Huh. See where we're at real quick. Are there any lost for sale on this side? You gotta open that real trap. Where's that real trap? <coughs> hey man. <coughs> Relax, bro. <coughs> Ew. Disgusting. They're worth more on this side for some reason. It looks like there might be a way out of this neighborhood, heading north. Mm. Let's see if we can get out of here. In other words, some of these, some of these streets, I see like, like this is the only house on this block, right? Mm -hmm. So they don't have any adjacent neighbors, you know? Like, this guy's got a semi in front of his house. Nobody's bothering him about it. You know what I mean? You can do whatever the crap you want out here. Now, next house is up on the next block over. You know what I mean? You can do whatever the crap you want. You know what I mean? Look how much junk they got. You know, they can do whatever the crap they want. They got plenty of space to do whatever they want. And they do have stuff out, so they're not fenced in either. So, it might not be too bad back here. There you go. It might be too bad. I don't even notice the guy was outside. <coughs> not too much litter. There is some litter in the woods, but not too bad. This guy's got a truck too, a dump truck, see what I mean? It's that place where you can do whatever you want, you know? Like if you have a dump truck or a semi, you can park it in your front yard, you know what I mean? I, I'm gonna, we're gonna watch the market here. You know, <laughs> squatted ranger. <laughs> I think I seen that one in on one of my Facebook groups. That's hilarious, bro. <clears throat> Regardless of whatever, um, if you the dust in five thousand, right? If they really just want to get rid of the property, they might let it go for three, you know, or thirty five hundred. I want to find properties that we can buy lots for three thousand, you know, no more than that. Because we can buy a three thousand dollar lot, boom, buy it. It's done. It's like having money in the savings account. You know what I mean? It's it's like forget it exists until somebody dumps a dump truck tire and you got to come clean it, which is fine. We travel a lot either way. You know? This is an excuse to get out of the house. I like this. We got big expensive boat, you know what I mean? Like people have expensive stuff out here. Like I like this. I think even though the spider kinda of looks trashy and all that, but people have like, you know, they have dump trucks and they have equipment and they got sixty thousand dollar boats and stuff. So it seems like people are doing stuff, you know what I mean? Oh, squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Look at that little trainer. Cute. Do you like this or no? Yeah. I like it. I love the vegetation. Look at all these palm trees. Look at this is what Spring Hill used to be. Yeah. And look at it now. Now they want $25,000, $30,000 for Lawn Spring Hill. So if we have $3,000 sitting around, mm -hmm. find a property where they want $5,000, they haven't, it's been sitting on the market for all. Off of $3,000, they might go. Who knows? It's hard to get a realtor that wants to do, uh, um, that wants to deal with you when you're doing stuff like that. Most realtors, like their ethics, won't let them do that. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think well, you should get a real estate license. Mm -hmm. If we could call them direct and say, hey, I'm a realtor, I'm the one buying it. Like right now, the, the way we're trying to buy properties, it would make sense instead of dealing with a realtor, for you, especially if you're dealing with small, small sums of money. You buy the property, you're the realtor, right? You finish getting your real estate license, you're the realtor. Next time we come through, we'll hit downtown. We gotta make it to Palaka. It's already five o'clock. Mm -hmm. But there is a town. The town has a McDonald's and a Circle K and a CVS and all that. You can look at all that stuff on Google. We're gonna keep it rolling. 
because it's already late in the day and we got to make it to Palaka before the sun goes down. Palaka has been requested, international has it, so we got to get to Palaka before it's later. But we'll be back and we'll do another video some other day. Off to Palaka before the sun goes down. Check it out. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe and yes, we're, I think Katie, once you get a realistic license, then we can do this easier, you know? Yeah. We call them and say, hey, you're, we'll offer you 3000 on the road trip. What's up? Do I do it or no? No? Hang on. And there's no rush. It might take six months for somebody that's got a property for 5000 to give it to you for 3000 But you can get it eventually. Mm -hmm. Those ATVs. Cool. Or I also thought about something. I don't know if you like this idea. We could sell our lot in Lehigh and buy like 10 cheaper lots. With. We sell that lot down there. We could sell that lot down there. But I really think we should hold on to that land, Lehigh. I think we should uh, too. You think so? It hasn't appreciated since we bought it. I don't know if you knew that. I know. Could it, if it, if it, if we got to look at the real estate market. If it's level, is that a. Hold on, though. <laughs> is that a green dinosaur? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's plastic. Is it plastic? Yeah. Dude. What is it? Jade City has like the UFOs? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I like this a lot. I like it. It's kind of trashy and country and affordable. Because we could also sell our lot, right? Yeah. So 20 divided by, let's say 25. 25 would buy us five five thousand dollar lots or six lots that are less than five thousand then you have six different counties six different tax bills six different headaches yeah tough call huh yep i want to try to buy at least one lot a year okay even two lots a year so there'll be a month where instead of hitting the road on road trips we buy a lot I yeah. want to get to the point I, where I want to get to. Look at that squad in truck. That's cool. I want to get to the point where every month we can buy a sheep lot. Every month we can yeah. buy a lot. Wouldn't that be cool? Yep. And by the end of the year, you got 10 properties. I want to do it. That'd be cool. But that would limit our travel like significantly. Like, we wouldn't be able to travel and stay at hotels and stuff. We'd have to like sleep in the truck. <laughs> oh, Caprice Apollo. <laughs> I think. Get about your empty lot. I'm buying a Caprice. <laughs> You're choking now, huh? Oh, I've been looking for a Caprice for decades, son. Forget about investing in real estate. Invest in the pimping, baby. I know you've seen that Caprice. Good to see has got a lot of sheep jump cars. Bro. Oh, no, you didn't. Who cares about investing when you can buy a Caprice Classic, bro? Let me see what champion's in. It looks like the headliners fall apart. Look at the whole thing. Let me see how much they want and what shape it's in. I'll be right back, y'all. Yeah. Katie, talk to them about how this isn't going to happen. I can't even talk right now. It's not happening. I want to end the video. I'm going to look at it. It's 2600 Okay. I just see what it actually costs out the door, though. 